Hi, today we're talking about toilet rough-ins and more specifically how the toilet bowl itself is actually configured to land on a very specific rough-in. What you see in front of you are three bowls dating back to the 1950s and they all look the same from the front. You'll notice all the fronts are all parallel. All the bolt holes here for the seat are parallel. However, these three bowls are configured for three different rough-ins. Now what we're going to do is show you from a side view as to what the differences are. Okay, if you look at the back, you'll notice we've got three very different lengths on the rear of the bowl. Basically, this is a 14-inch rough bowl, this is a 12-inch rough bowl, this is a 10-inch rough bowl. How you can tell on your bowl what size the rough end is at a quick glance is a difference from this point where the seat bolt holes are to where the flange bolts are. If there's about three inches of difference, it's usually a 14 inch rough bowl. If it's about an inch in front of the seat bolt holes, usually you're dealing with a 12 inch rough bowl. And when the bolt holes are actually physically behind the seat bolt holes, you're looking at a 10 inch rough bowl. This is critical if you're trying to install an old toilet onto a new inch rough, or new rough, excuse me. Normally, standard rough ends today are 12 inches. If you have a 14 inch rough bowl and you put it on a 12 inch rough, what happens is it moves the bowl too close to the wall to allow a flush shell to attach or the seat to stand up. So it's critical that you pay attention to these factors in toilet bowls when you're selecting an old bowl or you're reinstalling old bowls on a new plumbing. Thanks for watching, Bathroom Machineries.